Hello there! The first comparison between a manga and its anime adaptation that we are talking about is The Promised Neverland. Now this video is intended for those who haven't seen or read any of these titles, but for those of you who have, please share your thoughts in the comments. So back to The Promised Neverland. I was introduced to the anime first, I watched the first season of the anime and I absolutely loved it. It's about young kids who are raised on a human farm disguised as a foster home and they actually don't know that it's a human farm and a terrible fate awaits them when it's their time to leave the home. There are three lead characters who discover the secret and make a plan to escape with all the kids. Now without spoiling, this is a great story, the characters are interesting, the plot is fantastic and will keep you hooked. So because I loved the anime so much, I couldn't wait for the second season and I went ahead and started reading the manga from the point where the first anime season had ended. I finished the manga and loved it. It was everything that I had hoped for and then they announced that the second season of the anime is happening and I was so excited that I will get to see it all in action. Sadly, the second season of the anime omitted so many scenes and incredible arcs and details that were in the manga that made the story special and I was extremely disappointed. I was also glad that I read the manga because otherwise the second season would have spoiled the whole experience I had with the first season. So the winner for me would be the manga for The Promised Neverland and I would recommend you to do what I did, watch the first season of the anime and then continue the manga from there onward. No need to watch the second season. Alright, moving on to Demon Slayer. This is a story about Tanjiro whose family is killed by demons. Technically, they're vampires and one of his sisters is bitten and turns into a demon herself so Tanjiro goes on this journey to become a demon slayer find the demon who turned his sister and turn her back into a human form the anime seasons are ongoing and they're fantastic the manga is complete and it is also so well written so well drawn organized in an easy digestible manner so my vote goes to both the anime and the manga. It is a story that is well written and anime adaptation did more than justice to the manga. I will recommend though that if you have not read the manga yet, then don't. Just watch the anime because the surprise element of the story is what will make you enjoy the ride. I had watched the first anime season, the movie and then the entertainment district arc before I picked up the rest of the stories in the manga and that was quite exciting. Third one, Attack on Titan. This is an incredibly famous anime and manga. For this one too, I watched the anime first and then picked up the manga. The story is about a small population of humans living on an island within huge walls that are protecting them from man-eating titans until one day the wall is breached and all hell breaks loose. If I have to choose between watching the anime and reading the manga, I would choose and recommend that you watch the anime because the adaptation from manga is insanely good. While I love the manga as the original source of the material and I enjoyed it too, I think the experience is just too amazing when you watch just the anime. So my vote for this goes to the anime.
Naruto and Naruto Shippuden. Now I love Naruto so much. It is one of the first anime and manga that got me into this world and turned me into a weeb. So Naruto is special for me. The story is about Naruto Uzumaki, a young boy who is shunned by everyone. He has no parents, no friends, and all he wants is to be the most respected person in his village. And he vows to become that person one day. So he works extremely hard, never gives up. And the story follows his journey as he grows from a boy into a man. This is a story about ninjas and jutsus, which is awesome. I'll say it outright that I love both the anime and the manga. The only thing I wish we didn't have in the anime are the fillers. There are just too many fillers in the story that you can easily skip to get back to the main story. But overall, both the anime and the manga are winners for me. Last but not the least, Nana. I watched the anime for Nana first. It is a story about two women, both named Nana, how they meet and become friends and the worlds get entwined with each other. There is drama, sadness, basically concepts exploring what it means to be human. For the longest time, I only watched the anime over and over again because the manga is not finished and is on hiatus. And then one day I started reading the manga and I loved how the story was progressing and even though we still don't know what the ending for Nana is, it is one of those stories that for me feel like life itself and I don't feel like it's incomplete. Both the anime and the manga are winners for me and both are favorites. I watch the anime every few years because it is so good and timeless. And I would recommend that you watch the anime and read the manga as well. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please share your thoughts in the comments section.